Say that you've just loaded into one of your favorite PS2 games on the Steam Deck. You've managed to get PlayStation 2 emulation working, but the controls don't work. Uh, none of the buttons are mapped and you wanna know how to do that. So from your game, all you need to do is use your finger to go into settings at the very top, and then you wanna go down to controllers. From here, you wanna select the first option, and you've got the DualShock 2 layout right there. And all you need to do is go through each of these buttons systematically and plug in the new binding for the Steam Deck. So for example, um, the D-pad is over here on the left. You press the top button and it will kind of register an input. And then you press up on the D-pad and then that locks it in. Same for every single button. So it is a little bit finicky with your finger trying to get it right the first time. But once you've done it, you'll then be able to work. So we'll go through and do it like that. Once you're done, you can save it. You can add a new profile down here just so that it doesn't override anything. I've already done that. Then you can close and it should all work normally, just like on a PS2. Uh, obviously you can change the bindings if you wanted to use the back buttons on the Steam Deck or the trackpads or anything like that. That is entirely up to you. And also you can set different profiles for different games, but that is how you do the controller mapping on a Steam Deck. messages. You can hold down L2 or R2 while running sideways or backwards. Activates machinery. Press circle to use the dynamo to zap that activator. <laughs> 